soon this beauty is going to be thrown out unless I find a way to save it in less than 72 hours. The curbside collection is in three days and wife has asked to throw this along with an old sofa, a treadmill and some other junk which never get used. She claims that I never use this printer and it just takes up the space. To be frank, she's right. It's an Ender 3 version 2, very famous 3D printer. It was on a sale and I bought it thinking I might find some use for it. But when you try to use it, my god, problems after problems. Leveling the bed was a nightmare. The filaments kept entangling and breaking. By the time I assembled this printer and printed this cute little frock, I was done, I was exhausted. Then when I tried to print another one, the plane was screwed up all again and I gave up. That was the last blow. That experience drained the initial excitement I had for this 3D printing world. I know leveling the bed should not be this hard. There is this 3D touch module that helps with auto leveling. Um, I bought one but never had the time to set it up. Then procrastination, distractions, the usual lame excuses. And now it has come to this, the printer being thrown out. I really don't want to throw this and I might have an idea to save this printer. What is it you ask? I'm going to use this printer to make something that impresses my wife and then I'll ask her not to throw this at least until the next curbside pickup. I don't have much time, 70 hours perhaps before the council pickup arrives so I have to make something useful with this printer within that 70 hours. Uh, now we have to decide what to print. Uh, it cannot just be a dumb print from a thing it was. It has to be an enclosure for something else because a fancy print or toy is not going to impress my wife she would say she could buy them for pennies from a dollar shop so i have to come up with a useful product that doesn't exist online or it exists but price ridiculously high it's going to be tough but let's get to work it has been a few hours and i actually was looking for a specific item to help me with this rescue mission having been a last minute person my whole life to accomplish this task in less than three days I need a countdown timer to keep myself stay focused. Of course I could use my phone but 100% sure I'll get distracted and will give up the project halfway through. To my surprise all the countdown timers I found online were minutes and seconds only. But I need one that can handle days, hours, minutes and seconds. I couldn't find any. So I'm going to design a countdown timer that supports days to seconds, print an enclosure for that and use it to convince my wife to not to throw away my 3D printer. It might not sound like a cool idea for a product, but hear me out. First, I'll ask my wife to gift me such a countdown timer that can handle days to seconds. She definitely is going to struggle to find one. But when she does, I'll present mine and surprise her. Well, huh? I have designed a mock to visualize how the final product is going to look. Uh, I noted down the components that are required. Now off to JK. Let's go. No time to waste. Let's get to work. timer works but I cannot connect this to a laptop every time I need to set up the timer so I need to add a setup timer interface to this product and I have an idea about how I can do that so I connected an IR receiver to the Arduino and then dumped all the IR codes of this old remote and then added the ability to set up the timer using this remote now let's do some soldering work to keep the components in place So working fine. Now let's set up the printer with that auto leveling thing. Which uh, where is it? Yeah. I think I must have bought the wrong one. It seems this one doesn't fit onto my Ender 3 V2. Must be for some other version, maybe. Anyways, let's design the enclosure first and hope it prints fine without the auto leveling thing. Before all that, I need to find the designing software and learn it from scratch. took watching this video three times then taking notes the fourth time and then spending the next three hours designing this let's go print it the print didn't work
work out the first five or six times due to bed leveling issues. Uh, it was not sticking to the plane at all, but it's working fine now. Leveling the bed should not have been this hard, but it was for me because I got a defective product. This leveling nut was rotating on itself instead of lifting the plane. So I had to remove it, file the bottom of it, and then it managed to hold its place. It took me ages to figure that out. It says it's gonna take 10 plus hours. I'm really tired, I'm going to watch some Netflix and hit the bed. I'm putting everything together. It took several reprints and I had to retouch the design a few times. Uh, I learned a lot. Uh, things are looking good now. It's now ready and I'm happy how it turned out to be. You wanna see? Let's go impress the boss. Good. Did you manage to find that countdown timer thing I asked for the other day? Yeah. You did? Yeah. No way. You're kidding me. Let me see. 